Chip stacking worked well for Pringles. And now electronics manufacturers are also using chip stacking to make your gadgets more powerful than ever. And just to be clear, I'm not talking about some new type of CPU where you can stack multiple processors out of a box on top of each other like Jenga on your motherboard. I'm talking about stacking the actual dies and connecting them in some way to add functionality. This concept has been somewhat common for a while in the storage world. It's easy these days to get an SSD for your computer that uses die stacking in order to fit more capacity onto one drive, such as with VNAND from Samsung. But perhaps even more interesting is that we're starting to see die stacking on processors as well, though Intel and AMD are taking slightly different approaches to implementing it in your next CPU. Let's start by talking about Intel's 3D stacking technology called Foveros. We first saw this on Intel's Lakefield chips, which were actually hybrid CPUs. That is, they combined both high power and low power cores in an attempt to save energy as they were mostly designed with laptops in mind. Lakefield implements Foveros by having a base die with support logic including security and I.O. placed beneath a compute die that contains the actual CPU cores. Connecting them, you have these tiny balls <laughs> of solder called micro bumps whose centers are only 36 microns apart. That's about half the width of a human hair. But why is this better than just having two separate dies on the same 2D plane, similar to the chiplet technique that we've seen with AMD's Epic processors? Well, it turns out that getting the dies as close as they can physically be to each other results in some real performance benefits. And having micro bumps that are that small allows the dies to be super close to each other and communicate more quickly. Not only that, but having the dies so close together also means you don't need as much power to move data between them. So not only is stacking dies faster, than just having them on a single 2D surface, it's also easier on your battery life. Unlike Intel, their die stacking strategy is not to link a compute die and a base die. Instead, AMD is concentrating on using 3D chip design to increase the amount of cache available to the CPU, at least for now. You can learn more about CPU cache in this episode, but the gist of it is that it's a really fast kind of memory that sits inside the CPU package, enabling the processor to quickly access information it needs to work on immediately. Team Red recently announced they'll be stacking additional cache on top of the existing cache in each chiplet. Instead of using micro bumps like Intel, they're instead linking the cache layers via through silicon vias or TSVs. These are exactly what they sound like, a copper connection that goes through each layer of silicon like a toothpick going down through the layers of a juicy burger. Now I'm hungry. It's almost lunchtime. You can fit more TSVs per unit of area than Foboros micro bumps which AMD is hoping will give them a leg up against Intel. Although they're obviously not using die stacking in the same way as Team Blue, AMD thinks the increased cache sizes will lead to significant performance gains. Each chiplet can now feature up to 96 megabytes of level three cache. So a CPU with 12 or 16 cores across two chiplets will have a full 192 megabytes, a staggering amount compared to conventional technology. Because CPU cache is so fast, having more of it, as well as higher bandwidth, could mean real world benefits with AMD already claiming anywhere between four and 25% more frames per second in games compared to the Ryzen 9 5900X. Only time will tell which of these techniques or another one we don't even know about yet will really push the limits of performance over the years. Maybe at some point we'll be able to game at 16K effortlessly thanks to GPUs that look like club sandwiches. And you'll be able to game effortlessly with Redux. Redux offers hardware with no markup pricing, only a $75 build fee. The price you'd pay to buy the parts yourself will be the same price you pay with Redux, with expertly built PCs. Redux believes in bringing PC gaming to the masses. That's why they only charge a small build fee and won't cut corners on quality. You get a two year warranty for parts and labor, and you can use the online PC builder to customize what's going on inside based on the games you want to play. Click the link in the description and create your dream PC today. Thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other videos like maybe the um, most important CPUs video and comment with video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe and follow.